On the decks, eat a bomb, eat a lick, eat a muck daddy, the butter flavor laying down the beats. It's DJ the Fourth. Easy now, what's up, brother? Oh, yeah, I'll go out with the brother, man. It's all right, man. I've got two fools full sometimes, fix up. <laughs> Yeah, I was feeling very well, thank you for asking. <laughs> it is now a great honour to introduce my first guest tonight, libel case loser and totally disgraced MP, Neil Hamilton. <laughs> She's fit, in it? She's one of my dancers. Oh. <laughs> She's well stretchy, you know. <laughs> she, can, she can eat dinner at home, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's just sort this out. You is the guy that was found with an orange in his mouth and with a stop. <laughs> <laughs> no? And there's a slight case of mistaken identity. Oh, OK, so you is the geezer who went to Clapham Common and chugged the rasta. <laughs> My case is the one uh, which everybody remembers now by the phrase brown envelopes. <laughs> so, what is this about the envelopes? Well, Mohammed Fayed, Aye, for real. you know, Aye. he owns Harrods. And uh, he claims that uh, he gave me wads of cash. Aye. Do you accept that you stayed at the Ritz Hotel? Yeah, we did. Aye, for real. And is it true that they have little bottles in there with shampoo and a conditioner? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I, did you use them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you mean by conditioner what I mean by conditioner, or was that something Co different? Conditioner it is a thing, let me explain it to you, that you put in your hair oh. to, make it look, <laughs> to make it look natural and everything. Yeah. People say that it's just batty boys that use it, but <laughs> it ain't. It ain't at all. And yeah. I want to say tonight, I use conditioner. <laughs> you know, I probably will be killed in the ghetto tomorrow. For <laughs> So, when you was in this room, whatever, did you wear one of them towels that, like, go all over your body, like a suit? I don't think I did, actually. I, I wandered around in the nude most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for telling me that. <laughs> so, when you got all this accusation and him telling you that he give you the envelope and everything, you must have got loads of respect in the House of Commons or whatever for being the baddest gangster. <laughs> I mean, I just want to say respect to you. Because <laughs> I got you I said, I said, get me the baddest gangster, man. Pick him up, Neil Hamilton. Respect, man. Respect. So, do you sign on now, now that you ain't employed? <laughs> <laughs> now, that's something which I, I never did. I, for, I mean, is you ever going on holiday this year? Yeah, we are going on holiday. Well, you can get one of your mates to sign on while you was away. <laughs> <laughs> that is yeah. Yeah. So, now you is unemployed, you must puff a lot more, what? <laughs> right? <clears throat> yeah, I go running in the morning and that makes me puff. I fool you. you know what it's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of interviews, you know, on the telly, people just nattering all the time. They just don't chill, you know? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Let's just relax a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being very rude. Uh. <laughs> Respect! OK, well, it has been beautiful speaking to you. I just want to say massive respect. I just want to say thank you very much, Nigel. Well, <laughs> respect. Big up yourself, Buta.